My name is Kyle Reed. I'm with the Marine Corps Wounded Warrior Regiment and I'm here in Colorado Springs ready to compete for the Warrior Games. The events I run are the 100 meter dash, the 200 meter dash, the 400 meter dash, and then the 400 meter relay. My name is Andre Burgos. My uh, three fields that I'm specializing in are air rifle, air pistol, and recurve archery. Jamie Slaughter. I'm with uh, Naval Hospital Camp Pendleton supplemented with the Wounded Warrior West Battalion as a support element. They support me down there. My name is Janae Piper. I am competing in shooting, recumbent cycling, and uh, seated volleyball. Jorge Salazar. I'm competing in wheelchair basketball, sitting volleyball, swimming, and shot putting discus. Michael Wishnia. Right now, I am, uh, was training in my chair for seated shot put and seated discus. Hi, right, so I'm Richard Stalder. I compete in archery and shooting. Uh, what I like most about uh, the Warrior Games is uh, the camaraderie between myself and the other Marines and myself and the other branches of the military. They don't pout. They don't focus on their disabilities. They're, they're here to have fun and um, they get to train with one another and they really just get to enjoy a piece of the Marine Corps one little bit at a time. Aside from the camaraderie, I like the continued challenge. The fact that I know that I'm not just competing against uh, an athlete, I'm competing against a service member that, uh, that represents a lot more than just themselves. This is not a place where, where people come to, to uh, seek selfish endeavors. This is a place where people come to not only represent themselves, but represent their branch um, so that, to me, makes it represent a lot more and makes it more meaningful uh, of a competition for me. Being here is very challenging. Doing three sports a day is, is extremely challenging. Basically competing and taking your mind off of, off of what's happening in your recovery, it's kind of like pushes you through your recovery. Even though you're, you're still dealing with the, the mental capacity of, of how negative things can be, if you sit there and dwell in it, this takes you puts you in a place and makes you basically are in the moment with like seated volleyball. You can't think about anything else other than what's going on in that game because everyone around you is depending on you. So you're not thinking about your injury, you're not thinking about all things that hurts right then and there. All you're doing is playing and then all of a sudden time's up and it's like been two hours. So you've got two hours missing that you just, that were great and a lot of fun and you weren't paying attention to whatever was hurting at the time. I think that when it comes to cycling though, which I'm doing recumbent cycling, it's, it's very, uh, challenging because you don't have the gravity on your side. You only have your leg power. <laughs> so everything's pushing and pulling and being clipped in is like half the battle. So you're pushing and you're pulling and it's just, um, it's definitely mental too. To like think about it and like, okay, I can do this next one. Here comes another hill. And then think about the next step we're gonna do. And if you're gonna pass somebody as in little miniature goals between the next person that's in front of you, are you gonna make to that person or are you gonna be able to get past them and go to the next one? The training, uh, I get to uh, get to know each one of the players individually. I get to uh, talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, uh, not only just to improve their game, but to know who they are. I mean, that's the, the, most, the biggest thing is the camaraderie. So from here coming to train every day, I, I get to meet these guys and meet some great people. It's not, it's not me just going out there, running around in circles around people. These guys are athletes as well. They're, they're pushing really hard. They make me work. You can tell I'm sweating. I'm not just running around in circles. I'm very challenged by them. Well, the whole idea about the Wounded Warrior Games to me is one camaraderie with bringing different teams together, but it also bringing all the branches together, as well as the fact that a lot of other individuals, um, it gives them an opportunity to after, post their injuries to realize that they have something else to do with their lives. They can get out there and actually play sports that are custom and adapted to their injuries. Camaraderie, being around my brothers. The whole time we were to train here, you know, competition's great, but how often do we really get to do this? You know, get the whole group together that everybody knows and actually just have fun put around sound range. The Wounded Warriors uh, have helped me in that 
they've given me an opportunity to get my talents out there as well as get my story out there and really help me figure out what I can do to help myself with my disability. Wounded Warriors has helped me by allowing me to continue to regain some of the things that I had lost after the disability. Again, focusing on the challenges um, and overcoming the challenges, especially with the archery. Archery is, is my weakest out of the three sports. Uh, I try to come in every single day, try to get as much as I can from the coaches and try to apply as much of it uh, so that when I compete, I'm actually being competitive and I'm giving anybody, whether it's fellow Marines or other branches, a good run for their money. What I get out of the training from the practices is the fact that it, it allows me to take focus off of the negative aspects of my disability and focus on the more positive aspects of what I can still do. Prior to coming to Wounded War Battalion, um, I had a lot of issues, I had a lot of problems, and you know, coming here has definitely helped and led me in the right direction. Pushing yourself to the limit is what, what really challenges me, trying to surpass my, the best I've ever thrown each, each and every day I've uh, trained for this. My favorite event would have to be the seated shot put because it's enjoyable and I like throwing heavy objects. What I get out of it is, you know, not, not necessarily me working harder, but in order for me to do better, my brothers are going to do better. And whenever they shoot better, I shoot better. So when it comes down to it, the only practice I need is just shoot next to my buddies. <laughs> I don't think the word would be challenged. Uh, a little out of, out of my element in this, uh, this competition. It's, it's everybody's uh, the best of the best from the services. Mentally, physically, which one do you want to go with? The Wounded Warriors helped me get back to where I think I was mentally. It, it makes me believe that there is hope. Now, whenever I'm you know, down to the dumps, even though you know, I'm, I'm doing this great stuff, my brothers are here to pick me up. If I was invited back next year, I would love to come. Uh, I've always enjoyed uh, friendly competition, as well as uh, I miss the Marine Corps dearly. We succeed based off of our ability to overcome situations that are difficult and uh, that a typical person may not be able to overcome. So to be able to come here, see a challenge, take on a challenge, that's the best uh, effect that the Warrior Games has on me. And the team, the coaches, everybody else that's a part of this, uh, this program is, it's a humbling experience. And especially for me being a corpsman, an FMF corpsman, for them to open themselves up and allow me to be a part of the team because I'm not where a Navy debt is, and because I was an FMF, I am an FMF corpsman and injured with an FMF unit, they've opened their arms up and said, hey, come here, part of our team. You're part of the family as it is anyway, and therefore I feel very privileged. If I was invited to any, any event, it um, doesn't matter if it was just one event or if it was this plus two more that I could actually do, I would definitely come back. But definitely just getting out there and doing something different and getting excited to be here. It's like so many people wanted to be here, they could not come. And I'm very thankful and gracious that I am here. That I enjoy the camaraderie, I enjoy the environment, I enjoy the people cheering for the games. I like, it gives me that, that uh, almost that feeling like I'm back in, in combat with my brothers, you know. Give me the, those chills, I miss those chills I used to get. I, I would definitely love to come back and perform and just be with other Marines. You know, it doesn't matter what their injuries are, it doesn't matter how bad their injuries are, it's just the fact that we're all here together, you know, building one cohesive unit again. Enjoy is not the word. It's, seriously, this is what keeps me coming. Just pick up my pack and keep pushing, this is it. I would pay to come back. This is what I look for. It's, uh, it's different when you're out. No, nobody's there uh, to back you up. Down here, <laughs> you got plenty. <laughs>